Hi, welcome to Growing Dreams Homestead. I'm Dana and my family and I are homesteading on 10 acres in Indiana. Today is Sunday, June 23rd and we got some rain today which was much needed after like two weeks of really, really hot temperatures. So today we are down here in the orchard, our peach tree. Um, one of them is very ripe so we are picking them and the other one is very close to being ripe behind me. Um, it is so full that the branches are bending so I'll show you that and we're gonna use ladders to prop them up so that they don't break because these fruit are not quite ready and they're gonna keep getting heavier and bigger so I uh, thought I'd bring you along so they are picking some of the ripe peaches and we have a nice little tote full so far there's a bunch all over the ground that have fallen already and the critters have got to so you got a nice little bucket going so far so this tree bloomed first like a week before the other and its fruit are getting ripe first so this one is a little farther behind but see how low I mean that is like almost touching the ground so we're gonna wedge this ladder under that branch and that's what we did over on this side because that one was oh, almost yeah. touching Look the ground too Don't but they are just <laughs> loaded up they're looking this good, is babe. The best. <laughs> Look at this one. It made it in. Good catch. It made it in. Oh, baby. I'm so happy right now. Me too. I this picture. is the best harvest we've had yes. in the orchard. Yes. We planted these trees when we bought our property in 2016 and we did have one year we were, we got like a five gallon bucket of peaches um two summers ago last summer all the all the fruit had dropped because we got a late frost so this is our first really big harvest so this is exciting um when that other tree gets ripe we're gonna we're gonna have a ton all right so this is an apple tree and i don't remember what kind it is it was also one of the ones we planted in 2016 but it gets small sweet little red apples on it and they're always ready really early compared to the other apples so Kane okay, wanted to pick some of them Look straight up that big bunch up there yep try not to pull on the, the tree when you're doing okay there we go So there are a lot of ripe apples in this tree, so we're going to get some of them down. I think I'm going to try to make some applesauce because they're, they're pretty small, but they are very sweet. Very delicious. Alright, so we're adding some apples to the haul, but I wanted to show you. So some of our peaches have a hole in them, and I didn't know what that was, and I posted it on one of my fruit groups, and they said it was called split pit. It's when it, the fruit develops really fast. I'm thinking because we had so much rain this spring, and it pulls the pit, so when you open it, uh, the pit is split in half. I'll show you. All right, so this is what it looks like when you open it, and like the heart of it's kind of not developed, and the, the pit just splits open, so. Um, the fruit around the outside of the pit is still good, but it's just something that happens, so just something to be on the lookout for. Hopefully, because the next tree is um, a little bit behind, we won't have split pit on those because they are not developing as fast as that first tree, so we will see. Alright, so we're done using the ladder for now, so we have it propping up this branch that I showed you that was almost on the ground. But look at this. It is loaded with peaches and these should be getting ripe here in the next week or so we'll be picking again so there is a lot of fruit we're keeping an eye on our pear trees got a lot of pears in it and I'm trying to get all the sun here there we go pear tree has a lot of pears in it we have other apple trees with apples so just keeping an eye on our fruit right now it's so exciting to have a harvest a lot of these trees are still really young so we still have a while before we'll get fruit off of them but it's so exciting to think about years from now being in this orchard with our kids and our grandkids and having fruit that we planted you know so it's very exciting but thanks for hanging out with us today, and I will see you soon. I hope you're having a great weekend. Bye.